Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, it's been a long time since I made a video, but I'm pretty excited about this one. So I've got some special parts here uh, today that I, I can't wait to install. Um, I've been away for a long time, haven't made any videos, uh, been away with work and stuff like that, not long back in the country. Quarantine sucks, um, but it is what it is. Hope everyone's doing well in the pandemic and you're getting through it because there's light at the end of the tunnel. So. What I've got today is I bought a full Plasma Man intake and intercool kit. So I've got the um, top half uh, Plasma Man manifold uh, with the matching throttle body. I've got the uh, intercool pipes and I've got the Pro Series uh, intercool kit. So apparently it'll support up to a thousand horsepower and I'm definitely not going to make anywhere near that. But it's nice to know that there's room to expand uh, if need be. I'll show you uh, these parts a little, little closer. The finish uh, to all these products is absolutely amazing. Really, really stoked uh, with how everything turned out. Everything I asked Plasma Man to do in regards to what extra fittings and stuff like that I wanted places, uh, they did, there was no dramas. And uh, very, very stoked with the product. And I hope everything goes smoothly today and I can bolt everything on without too much drama. Uh, so as you can see here, I uh, got the intercooler. It's a monster. Um, it's probably similar dimensions to what I've already got, um, but it looks a little bit thicker. Um, it's obviously going to flow a lot better, and that inner core that's on the car is like 10 years old. So, who knows what kind of condition it is inside and stuff like that. So, it's a sensible upgrade for myself. Here's the um, top half manifold. So, as you can see here, stealth powder coated black. Um, it's got all the provisions here on the bottom for um, all like your vacuum lines and stuff like that. I'm going to be running this without an idle control valve uh, for the time being. So I didn't ask for that plate to be on there. Um, so should be able to get it to cold start and everything like that. Um, pretty good. I managed to do well so far without an idle control valve. Um, so I'll keep running it like that. Um, got the matching uh, throttle body, it's the biggest size I could get, um, so it will be pretty sweet. It's just going to take the factory uh, TPS um, sensor, um, it's got a nice little o-ring and stuff like that, so no gasket. Um, here's the pipe work, so it looks a little bit bigger, maybe a fraction bigger than what I've already got. Um, stealth black as well, I think it's going to be a good look on the car. And then I've got all the silicon hoses, so they're all black, all hose clamps. Um, I wasn't really going to go to Wigger Flex style coupling because this is a street car. I'm not going to be running huge boost, um, so I don't really think I'm going to have to have problems with boost pipes blowing off and stuff like that. Um, these are just general hose uh, hose clamps. I've got like T-bolt clamps that are on the cars already. So I'll use the T-bolt clamps instead. Um, this is just a box of all the fittings. Um, so fittings to bolt um, the intercooler on and also the throttle body and stuff like that. And that's pretty much what you get. Obviously it costs a, uh, a lot of money, um, but this is something that I've been eyeing off for years and I'm pretty stoked to finally have it in my hot little hands. And um, I'm very, very excited to put it on the car. At the moment, the car's making pretty good power, um, but obviously on the intake side of things, it's heavily restricted because I'm running the factory non-turbo inlet manifold um, that's been cut and shut with the forward-facing XF plenum. And don't get me wrong, this has been pretty good and it's taken me up to a certain level, um, but really with the hot side uh, that I've got, the turbo, the exhaust, the six boost manifold and stuff like that. I'm having no real dramas getting the air out. Um, I can really maximize the potential of this car by uh, increasing the amount of air that's going in. So at the moment, you know, this has been good. Um, something that I'll probably hang on to for another build, 
um, but yeah this is really going to uh, make this make this engine come alive um, obviously I'm gonna have to take it back uh, to get it retuned so the plan is um, I'm gonna bolt all this stuff on get it running I'm obviously gonna have to mix with uh, mess with the idle and cold start uh, probably do a bit of road tuning just to make sure that it, it drives nice and stuff like that um, and then I've got new injectors to put in it and also a uh, bigger fuel pump and stuff like that So once I do injectors and fuel pump, I'll take it back to the dyno and uh, we'll turn the boost up and we'll see what this puppy makes right, So the basic plan of attack will be uh, pulling the front bar off um, Pull the pipes out pull the inner cooler off um, Then I'll probably work up to the engine bay and then obviously I have to pull this uh, strut top off um, and then disconnect all my lines to my inlet manifold and pull this top half off. Um, at the moment, the bottom half of the, uh, the runners are actually uh, silver. Um, I'm probably just gonna keep those silver. I don't think it'll look too bad and I think it'll look pretty cool with you know, this black, this black, um, all my other pipes black and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, pretty keen to get stuck into it. All right, so I've ripped the uh, front bar off. As you can see there, the old intercooler isn't exactly small. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna have too many problems throwing this Plasma Man one in. Um, for those of you that don't know how to pull front bar off, um, so I always just remove the two little <coughs> side screws on the side of the front bar. And then there's two bolts uh, down here on the front bar reinforcement on each side and then disconnect the horn if you've got the horn attached to the front bar like, uh, like mine is and it'll just slide straight off alright so this intercool is obviously a lot different so it's going to mount a lot, of, lot different so these tabs here are going to go up and it's going to bolt on the side behind the headlights here and it'll just slide up like that so what I don't want to do right now is mount the intercooler because you need to make sure your pipes uh, are going to reach in the right spot um, so what I'll do now is I'll move on to the inlet manifold um, I'll pull this off mount the inlet manifold and then start uh, mocking up my pipes and then once I get my pipes mocked up to where they need to be um, then I can work out the exact place that I need to put this intercooler I've already got some um, some holes where my old intercooler used to go through i hope they're pretty close um if they're not obviously i'm gonna have to open them up more it sucks but it is what it is so it was pretty simple to take off didn't even take me i don't know less than 10 minutes um i'm just going to shove some stuff down these holes and uh clean all this gasket off and then start prepping to install this uh plasma man top half Alright, so I'm just getting ready to put this thing on. Um, these are only just finger tight at the moment. I'm um, just working out on my fitting. So this will be for my brake booster, um, digital boost gauge sensor, and then two vacuum lines. So one will be for the map sensor in the computer, and the other one will be the fuel pressure egg. And then there's a bung here, so I'll just bung this other uh, line. I'll just put some uh, thread tape on that, and then I'll tighten these bad boys up. All right, so I don't really know where I ended up. Um, everything turned to shit. So much for me jinxing myself and saying, oh yeah, it's just an afternoon job, I'll have all this done. Nah, definitely not. So ran into issues with the plenum. So fitting the uh, last bolt underneath here, there wasn't enough room um, due to the casting of the lower inlet manifold for the bolt to go in straight. Um, I tried shaving it down in the car, I was making a mess, um, couldn't get the tools in there properly so I had to pull the lower half of the inlet uh, manifold off um, so I did that like uh, last night and put it all back on and everything like that fortunately I had a spare gasket so I was stoked and got it back up to that stage at the moment um, plenum's temp fitted so I could run all my cooler pipes I did have to open up my hole a little bit bigger down here and also on the hot side um, so I've ran the pipes, so I ran the pipes down to each side, um, just in a ballpark area, so I could figure out, uh, how and exactly where to, um, mount the intercooler. So the intercooler kit came with some, um, 
some brackets here and I figured out that they were to line up with some holes down the bottom here so that worked out well and then I just had to uh, bolt it to the inside of these um, tabs where the grill goes um, up there so it worked out pretty well it is solid as a rock um, so now everything's uh, mocked up and I know everything's happy I trial fitted my front bar and it fits I just need to shave a little bit of the lower lip um, just because it's hitting a little bit on each side um, so what I really want to do now is I want to pull this plenum back off um, fortunately my mate Jacob um, he had a spare gasket for me so I went and picked that up yesterday um, so I've got the gasket so I can pull this off I can wet install that um, hook up all my injector plugs and all that kind of jazz um, and start buttoning this thing back up and then hopefully I can get this thing started hopefully later on tonight if I'm keen um, gyms have opened back up so I wouldn't mind going for a workout but also VL turbos are important so I'll work out what I want to do um, what else the only other thing I'm going to have to do is because my digital boost uh, sensor um, for my digital gauge is here, I'm going to have to extend the wires, but that's no biggie. Um, but yeah, it's all starting to come together now. Alright, so plenum's down for good. Um, started doing all the clamps up on the cold side, that's all done. Um, hooked up TPS, vacuum lines, that kind of stuff. Still need to hook up brake booster. I need to adjust the uh, throttle so I can hook this um, throttle cable up properly. But what I might do now is move to the hot side. So what I need to do is um, I need to take the compressor housing off and then I need to uh, drill into it and tap it and put a fitting in there for my boost control. So I used to have a, uh, a nipple in the pipe off the uh, compressor housing. Um, I forgot to ask Plasma Man to put that in for me, so I'm going to have to drill into the compressor housing. No big deal, I think it's about 6 bolts and I'll have this thing off and drill and tap and put a fitting in. Alright, throttle cable is all done, that's good, TPS is good, I'll have to adjust that before I start it. Just got to put the um, windscreen washer and coolant overflow bottle in, I've got a brand new one, so that should make this engine bay look a lot better. Um, and then get ready to top it off with coolant uh, once I get it started and make some adjustments and go from there. Alright, so now I'm just going to go into my setup and then sensor calibration and calibrate my throttle position sensor. So close and then open, apply, and then I can see. 100, 0, 100, 0. Perfect. Let's uh, kick it in the guts and see if she starts. Alright, so I've got this thing running. And it's running sweet. Um, only had to adjust my uh, throttle stop a little bit to get it to idle. Um, apart from that, it's all good. And I just need to start uh, putting it back together now. So I've got it all back together, looks good, cooler, sits down as low as the old one did, so pretty happy with that. Um, everything's together, the car's running, I'll probably call this video here, and then um, it's pretty, pretty dark outside now, so um, I won't be able to make a good video in the car driving and talking at the same time, so yeah, when it's uh, daylight. I'll take it for a drive and um, I can let you guys know what my first um, impressions are. Obviously the car isn't tuned yet to suit the manifold, I have to get that done. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to upgrade the fuel pump and put bigger injectors in it. Um, and we'll turn the boost up and see what she does. Um, but for now, she should be drivable. I might have to make a few minor changes to like cruise and stuff like that. I'm not going to boost it too hard until I... Um, I get it fully tuned. So I'll see you next time. Peace.